Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks and to another open with me. And as you can see, this one is for Simply Knitting. Um, I bought this um, a week ago and I, I've lost it. Um, I finally found it on top of a computer that I don't really use much anymore. So here it is anyway. So it's not out of date or anything, but um, I was going to do this last week. This is... Um, it's got a few free gifts in it and it's for simply knitting as i said and there's two fab gifts inside there's um 12 faux leather project labels and a birda winter wonders um so that's cool feel fabulous winter knits 35 gorgeous patterns curvy cables you know what i thought it said curry and i have got my glasses on that's just great isn't it Curvy Cables, Stunning Lattice Stitch, Snuggly Stripes and Valentine's Delights because, yes, that is finally approaching us. I do have a sweetheart scarf. I'll put an, a little um, a link to that at the end. It looks complicated, but it really is very, very easy. Um, and so we've got Gifts for Little Loves and we've got a blanket. Quick Knit Ideas. And there we go. So let's have a look at the back. Do you remember I said if I didn't get my idea off the ground soon, someone else will do it? Well, there's somebody's thought of it in this, this magazine. So <laughs> for those of you who watch me all the time, I've been procrastinating about something I've been meaning to make for a year. And it's something very simple. And I said, if I don't do it, someone will beat me to it. And I know that would happen. I might, I think I might be clairvoyant. Anyway, we've got Fun Packed Home Makes and we've got a man. Well, I think it's actually just a sweater. And I'm not sure if it's um, a bracelet or a hair we're meant to be making. No, it's a, it's a bracelet. Anyway, while I'm getting in, I'm being flippant. I will stop it immediately. While we're getting into it, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And hopefully you'll be informed when new videos pop up. Oh, this isn't going according to plan. Very s stuck, that is. There we go. Okay, we are in. Let's get the whole thing out. Rightio. So there's our free gift of our her faux leather project labels. Give your crafty makes a unique handmade finish with these easy to use tags. So as they're kind of black on burgundy, they're not that easy to see. There we go, made with love, made with love again, knitted with love, knitted with love. So there we are, kind of nice, aren't they? Makes a change from having brown ones. We'll have a look at Birda at the end. We'll concentrate on the magazine, which is nice and glossy. And I do have to have the light on because this is um, later than usual. So hopefully it's not going to reflect too badly. It's actually not doing too bad at the moment. OK, so let's get in. Um, got quite a lot of pullovers in this one as well, because what I didn't see with that on the front was this little cardigan. It was hard to see with that paper. So it's making it quite long. OK. Look, I did knit some donuts. Is that donuts? They do look like donuts. I have um, delicious donuts, which I crocheted. If I remember, I'll put a link to those as well. I'll probably forget now. I've got too many to do. You know, it's a lot to remember for me. Okay, let's go down a bit. That's it. Right, that's just telling us about the freebies that are in it. And wish list. What's not to love? Shopping, events, inspiration, people and views. Okay, so I'm just trying not to knock my tea off because I made a cup of tea. Now these um, needles, I think they're clover needles. I do sell those in my store. If you haven't come across it yet, it's www.hobbyrocks.co.uk and I do have those on special offer at the moment. I really like this. That's really nice. It's got that kind of loose, lacy almost crocheted look about it but I really like that that's very nice isn't it beautiful and we've got <laughs> we've got yarn called footballs they do actually look like footballs as well I guess you know 
My kids would have kicked them around the house if they'd seen those. And um, what we got over here? Knitted headgear. I was looking for the books. Oh, there they are. So we've got Knitted Home. There we are. Let's get zoomed in. By Melanie Porter for fourteen ninety five. Timeless. What's that say? Tyrolean knitwear. I've never heard of that. And that's by Linda Hall. And that's £32, is it? Tyrolean must mean extremely expensive then. The Ultimate All-Around Stitch Dictionary by Wendy Bernard. And that is £22. No, what, £22 all but any. Well, they're rather expensive. I wasn't really prepared for that. Some of them have gone up to quite a lot though, haven't they, these books? Some not. Okay, so just kind of little editorials, things... Um, craft events around the country we've got one in Shetland and one in Tuscany in Italy I think I'd like to go to that one actually um we've got one in Stafford one in Powys and that's it so we can go off to Wales to Stafford to Italy and Scotland none around here I haven't still not been to um I've still not been to a craft fair or stitch um, event. I need to go to one. I really do. So this is perfectly pink. Clever moss stitched diamonds combine effortlessly, effortlessly, which is not easily to say. It's not effortless to say with my... Um, <laughs> I would normally say effortlessly fine. With simple cables to create this pretty feminine jumper by Pat Mencini. It is quite nice, isn't it? I mean... Let's get a, a, a all round view. There's the back. That's quite nice. Neckline. There it is in its entirety. Is it just me? <laughs> the, the, all I could look at was a necklace. Anyway, <clears throat> not really. Um, I was looking at that as well. It's got a lot of detail. It's nice. I like that. And this goes from size extra small to 2XL. That is really nice. Lots of... Um, Intricate kind of design going on there, though. Wouldn't exactly be beginner friendly. So get the look. You can get her necklace. Look at that. It's £22 from Oliver. Even with my glasses on, I'm having trouble. Bonus. Okay. I don't really mind about, you know, lipsticks, lipsticks for me. Those F and F trousers. So that's Tesco, isn't it? F and F. I always get them around the wrong way. I think so. Might be that or Sainsbury's. I can't remember. Um, Sainsbury's is the necklace, actually. I mean, the um, lipstick. And Dykeman are the pumps. Not that you can really see them. Moving on. Adverts and Wrap and Curve. I've seen a lot of them doing this lately. Are you into it? I don't know. It would stay in place. If you put your coat on over the top, it's going to stay there, isn't it? I always struggle with that. I like tuck it in a little while later. It's because I don't like it bunching up around this booby area because it just you know they're they're full enough. I don't really want to look like matron when I'm. Oh look, it's got a back. That that's different, isn't it? So it crisscrosses at the front and it joined at the back. Hmm, could easily crochet something like that. This is the Cozy Knits collection. Get your hands on this new edition with patterns for over 30 winter warmers for the ultimate in handmade comfort. So where you have to order it online. At, buy, at those. Actually, this is where I ordered one of my magazine subscriptions. So, oh, that's unusual. Just 9 99 So you can buy it, but you need to go online. It's quite nice. I don't know if it's worth the money. I don't know, really. I have to have a good old look. Uh, this is your letters. What's trending this month? Well, apart from magazine falling over. Uh, no room at the inn. Um, a sneaky snooze. And dress to impress. Well, Christmas is over now, so I don't think so. Um... It's only a week out of date. Not even that. Oh, lavish lattice. That's unusual. 
but not kind of me. Um, suits some people, I know, but firstly, it's too short for me and too puffy in the sleeve and too busy. But, you know, it's not just plain and that's kind of interesting. And it goes from size uh, 8 to 10 up to a 24 to 26 which is obviously UK sizing. I think I need one of those guys, I really do. I've been very cold lately, very cold. This is a love for lace. I quite like this, I have to say. It's quite nice. I don't know why that, you know, when you put, they kind of make these little shawly things and then they turn them round, so that's at the front. I think we might need that this time of year though. Um, Get a sheepies colour pack I know it's not pronounced sheep is but it is for me and that's worth 35.95 the little balls I think in this one and they are 10 gram balls so yeah they're very small just a little colour pack it's all right if you want to make amigurumi or stuff that's not going to take much of one colour and you can you know get one line and cut one line per blanket per colour it might work but again you have to do it via this code. And how much is it going to cost us then? Um, 34 99 for six issues. Or 30 oh, No, it doesn't tell you. It only tells you for six issues. Sometimes they tell you for the year. Like they might say you get 13 issues. This one's called Make-A-Wish. That's a big, um, big toadstool or mushroom. It's got a little house, very sweet. And lots of how to do bits. It's really nicely made though. It's quite well made at the underside. A little window. Okay, it's quite cute. Very nice. There's the door. And uh, now we've got the community page. Wonderful wonder wall and bits and pieces out and about. Um, I think the, the font in this has been too small this time around. I kind of feel like even if I'm showing you this, I'm going to struggle with it. So um, we'll move on. That is very small, that page. Is it me? Is it my arms are going to get, things are going to get further away now. Is that what it's all about? This is Love Simply Knitting Loves. So ready to relax this fabulous slouchy boyfriend sweater. Makes for super stylish lounging for when the nights get chillier. They're already chillier. By Rosie Tucker. So why is it called a boyfriend sweater? Because it's oversized and it's like when you steal something from your boyfriend and it's bigger than you are. Is that why they call them that? Because I know that Gary would never wear that. I'm just saying. He wouldn't be seen dead in it. But then he's a manly man. But that, still, is that... I guess they call them boyfriend jeans and boyfriend sweaters now, even when they wouldn't belong to your boyfriend, just because they're baggy, perhaps. And these come in a size 8 to 10 up to a 16 to 18. So as it's baggy, hopefully a 16 to 18 will fit quite a lot of people. <clears throat> call in Simply Knitting Readers. Share your thoughts and earn amazing rewards. As a valued reader of Simply Knitting, we'd love you to start, be part of our insiders. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that entails. Um, in an exclusive online community that rewards you for sharing your feedback about the magazine, as well as other topics. You'll be entered into our monthly prize draw for each survey you complete, as well as gain access to other offers, offers, and rewards, so other things that might cost you money and rewards. But um, I don't know. I don't think I can be bothered to sit and fill in surveys, to be honest with you. Not anymore. The Knitted Year Blanket. Enjoy a feast of deep textures and bold borders when you cast on this gorgeous cowl from Needles of Val Pierce. I like, we have cows, they have cows with a K because it's knitting. It's a knit along. That's obviously part three, so there will have already been in the previous magazines, but they give you three every every time. Now, I do like texture blankets, I must admit. 
I don't always like the colours they choose. Uh, mostly I don't. But more out and abouts. So we've got the Knitter's Guide to Worcester. I know it says Worcestershire for those of you across the pond. But Worcestershire is Worcester because in the UK we're weird, okay? So when you see Worcestershire sauce, it's Worcester sauce. It's not Worcestershire. Just a little quirk of the UK, that is. So on Monday to Friday, um, you've got the stitchery. And the wall shack is Tuesday to Saturday. And you've got Nellie's Fabric Shop, Monday to Saturday. And Sew and Stuff, <laughs> Tuesday to Friday. And Saturday, different opening hours. But isn't that cool? I like that. So here we go. I quite like this cardigan, I have to say. From six months to five years. That's quite sweet. I like that little cardi. Winter chill, and it certainly is awful. But obviously you've got to know how to do cables, unless you just leave them out and do it as this stitch or something, you know, just completely or plain going into that. You don't have to do the cables if you don't want to, but we've got marbled cables for this young chap. Neutral tones and classic cable patterns combined to make a chic, modern classic. The men in your life will love it. Hmm, by Sean Brown. How many of us have men in our lives? Maybe we've got a man. Or maybe, oh, I suppose I've got sons. I suppose they are men. Just sounded a little bit naughty, that, didn't it, really? Anyway, you can make a trio of bangles. Nice little make. If you want to make fabric kind of bangles. They've got striped cable and a slip stitch bangle. And there's the back of his pullover. And this is the neckline and front. It's quite nice. That is pretty. I like that. Parody for a man. It's very um textured down the front. Do you like that? So this is... You can get three issues of the knitter for £5. Now, I've been debating on my um Open With Me's that they're no longer doing three issues of anything for £5. It's all gone up. It's either the cheapest one I saw was 9 99 and the most expensive was about £15 all but a penny. But this one, they're still doing three issues for a fiver, so they've obviously not got the circulation yet and they really want to build it up. But the last time I showed the knitter, I don't think many people liked it. But if you did fancy giving it a go, there's the code. And you can get three issues. Now, sometimes with these buysubscription.coms and things like that, you have to sign up with your card and they'll take the money, and then at the end of that subscription of the three, suddenly they start sending you more and charging you more. So you want to make sure it's not a repeater, because that can happen sometimes. So this Scraps Scrunchies, this is what on the front cover I thought was donuts, I think, because they did look like donuts, you know, on that little tiny picture. Well, I'd eat them anyway. <laughs> Plenty of fibre. But they're scrunchies. There you go. I like a scrunchie, I must admit. And that it makes sense now, her having them on her arm. The only thing is, the only scrunchies I wear look like giant springs. In fact, I'll show you one. I've got one in my hair right now. And here it is. There are a lot, I have all different coloured ones and glittery ones and bright ones, but they kind of... If you put them in hot water, they all go back to like a nice little round thing and they do go back up. But this is designed, this little spring thing, to not make bumps in your hair. You know when you take a scrunchie out or you take anything out your hair, you've got that bump that never goes. Well, this will sometimes create a little bump, but it goes away. I'll put it back. Well, but those are the only scrunchies that I use. But I do have use for scrunchies like this. As long as they're kind of a little bit loose. I do have about four of them. And I use them to keep the seat belt away from my neck in the car. <laughs> That's the only thing that I use them for. So I put my seat belt through them. And they open out to about this much. And it just keeps the seat belt down across my body. 
It still goes across me, still works as a seatbelt, but it stops it from strangling me because I'm not really built for cars. I think they design cars around a certain size of person. And if you're not that height, then you have trouble, even on the lowest setting of the seatbelt. But that's what I use them for, fabric ones. Just bear with me. Sorry about that, I needed a drink. And I do have a cup of tea at the side of me and needed to get it. Okay, so what have we got? Just for you, tea's in the way again now. Everything, everyone loves pump. I really can't stand it. And I'm going to moan now, guys. I am. I'm going to whinge again. When they put yellow on a white background, what's the point of that? I need contrast to read, you know. I don't think I used to be as bad as this, but since I had laser eye surgery, which was back in the 90s, I think, or early 2000s, can't remember exactly, um, I now need quite dark kind of print on a white background. And if it's like this, I need a lot of light to see it, especially the yellow on a white background. Or if they put, sometimes they'll put red on a pink background and things like that. They think they're being really clever, but all they're doing is making it so that I can't see it. And I'm not the only one I'd know, but yeah. So um, we might give this page a bit of a miss. Although I think these are lots and lots of competitions because it says how to enter. So we've got Yarn Paradise, Time for Tea, uh, Super Chic, Country Wear, Chic. I can't stand that word, chic. Stupid word. Yarn of Dreams, Book Bundle. There's the books. Oh, hello. There's the books. Too small. Can't really see them. And uh, the first one was Everyone Loves Pom Poms. That's Pom Pom Makers. So we've got Dino Dude. Dino Dude. And she's a girl. But, you know, I guess Dino's the dude. Learn Toy Skills. We have fondly named Claire Farrell's absolutely adorable baby dinosaur, Cuddly Toy Chomps. And he has worked his way into all of our hearts. There he is, that's Chomps. He is quite cute. And Tyler would love him, I know, because he does love a dinosaur. Um, there's all the instructions, quite a lot of them. And they are all kind of um, nicely set out. That should be quite easy to make. Now, the one thing I do like about this magazine is the fact that they have a Sudoku and a crossword. It makes me feel it's magazine-y rather than just a collection of adverts and patterns and stuff. Just going to have another drink because I'm getting quite thirsty. I had, I didn't have dinner today. We had um, a little collection of like charcuterie board. Get me being all posh, I know. And on there were pepperonis and little satay things. And they all had kind of garlic in, so I'm very thirsty. So that's why I have a tea. Okay. So paint the roses. Now, I know there are people out there who have teapots and therefore make tea cozies because they're in near enough every magazine. And if people didn't want them, I'm sure there wouldn't be any. But I haven't had a teapot oh, since Noah was a lad, honestly. And since tea bags came out, um, my mum used to do it. She used to put tea bags in the teapot. Because she liked extremely strong tea, so she didn't mind about it getting a bit stewed. I, I hate strong tea, so I've never made one with a teapot. The only time I have a teapot is if I have a cup of tea out and they often give me like a little pot. But that's about the only time. So there's got quite a lot of nice little decorations. We've got a heart and a little crown. We've got roses of all different colours. And it's quite sweet. Nice for Valentine's Day with a little heart. It's also got a little bucket with red inside. What would be in that bucket, I wonder? I don't know what that is. I don't know if it, oh, it's a paintbrush. <laughs> it's a paint bucket. Okay, I could not identify this. I sometimes struggle identifying amigurumi things or that sort of stuff. And looking at that, I had no idea whatsoever what it was. It reminded me of something out of Fantasia, you know, when those brooms all did a dance. That scared me senseless when I was a child. 
But um, anyway, moving on. Knitting no hair. I'm sorry my reviews do waffle on about <laughs> some odd stuff, don't they? But I think you've all got to know me by now. So knitting know-how, write to our accomplished Q&A experts and have your tricky knitting queries and questions answered in no time. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I'd be writing them a book, I think. <laughs> no, I'm not that bad a knitter. I just don't do it very often, so yeah, I'm a bit rusty. A rusty knitter. So we've got, what's over this side? We've got Debbie Bliss. Best intentions. <clears throat> Have you made any crafty New Year's resolutions to take you through 2023 that aren't necessarily to do with yarn and knitting? Mm, several, I think. Uh, Debbie's top tip. If you want to make an arm knitted blanket, but you aren't sure about working with rowing unspun yarn or roving unspun yarn, you can use super chunky yarn instead. But you have to hunt around until you find something the right tension and check reviews to make sure it meets your requirements. It's not quite true, is it? Because if you're making an arm blanket, you know, they're not very, they're not patterned. They're just plain, aren't they? Knit pearl, knit pearl. That's really all you're going to be doing. So even if you don't have to check the tension, if it's not thick enough, you just do another couple of rows. Or um, extra stitches, I mean, you know. Oh, excuse me. Um, you know, just another 10, 20 stitches. It's going to be bigger. But I don't think I could arm knit with super chunky. It needs to be a bit bigger than that. New year, new knits. What are you most excited to knit or design in 2023? Someone's asked that. Stephanie... Spencer via Twitter. Well, not sure. Now, see this blocking boards. Um, you can do this. You can go and splash out by the by these mats. They're like Knit Pro, and some of them are <clears throat> expensive knitting mats. Now, I have exactly the same thing in my. We've got a name for it, guys. You're going to hear it here first in my Yana van. Whoa, how about that? You heard it here first. One of my subscribers thought of it. I'll tell you who on my rocks chat in the morning if I can find it. So I have these, which I bought in, it was either Poundland, B&M, or somewhere like that. And they were children's play mats and they fit together exactly the same. They're all bright colours and they are exactly the same. Why well, pay for knitting or crocheting blocking boards when you can use kids play mats for a fraction of the price an absolute fraction of the price just saying you heard it here first folks three issues for 9.99 for simply crochet if you fancy giving that a go but beware again as i said you might find that you get that um renewing at the end of the three months but while i have a slurp of tea i'll just hold that there so you can make a note of it if you want to oh man i'm very thirsty after that charcuterie board okay close the circle make a modern statement this winter with a cool intarsia jumper decorated with a simple geometric shape by martin story now a jumper is a sweater, obviously, if you're across the pond. We call them jumpers and all sorts. Now, this is from Rowan, this yarn. But obviously, if you wanted to make it a little bit more cheaply, you don't have to go with Rowan. We've got a chart. I do love a chart. Everybody knows I love a chart. So there we go. That's that. Missed an issue. This is how you get your hands on a back issue. So if you wanted to make that blanket, this is knit along so crochet along then knit along three so if you wanted the previous two then that's how you get hold of them on there you can get digital back issues obviously you don't get the uh, gifts oh we've got some swatches and some new neutral yarns let's have a look what have we got the novita seven brothers nature bit of a mouthful looks like it knits up nicely though and we've got Katia Ecos, 
Minky Marvel. Again, that's quite nice. You can usually tell if it knits up nice, can't you? This is Hobby Denim Breeze. Doesn't knit up quite as nice, I have to say. It's all right, though, but not as nicely made as those. Rico Creative So Cool and So Soft Cotton. That's knitted up nicely. Or is it this? It's this one. Mm, it's a bit, a bit jiggly. You know, I, I, um, I like to see it even and... It's not so, not so even. This one is Wool Couture Bow Baby DK and Starcraft Merry Go Round There, which is nice and um, reasonably priced, I have to say. Do have that in my shop on a special offer, probably. Okay, two pages at once. So we got off, wondered why we were seeing slippers. <laughs> there we go. Week's called Heart and Soul. So you can make these for the love of your life with the little heart on for valentine's soft slobby and super snuggly what's not to love about these cozy toe slippers in a warm aran yarn by monica russell do you know what i'm half tempted to make them but somebody did have some really nice soles um which were non-slip and i need to get something like that it wouldn't be so easy to knit onto them, I don't think. But there you go. That's the pattern. Got a little tiny chart. Oh, my God. Look at the little tiny chart. How cool is that? Okay. America offer. When you subscribe today. Um, let me hold it so that you can get the, the info while I have a... Well, I'll finish my tea. You probably heard that gold pin that's disgusting. That's why when I do my chats in the morning, I won't let you see me slurp my tea down. But you can hear me slurp my tea down. Unfortunately, if you're listening hard. All gone. Anyway, this is the how to knit pages. More stitches to master and get professional results. And there's all the abbreviations. Needle sizes, hook size. My hook sizes? Did you see any crochet in here? I don't think I did. Maybe I missed something, but I don't think I did. Yarn weights. Maybe it's still to come. Knitting. Simply knitting, sorry, next issue. Didn't see the simply because it's um, all pale. We've got another birder. And, well, we've got some nice gloves and bits and bobs. For next time, uh, say hello. That's all the ah, there we go. This is the crochet bit, I guess. <laughs> that's why we got hook sizes. Okay, so that's the magazine, and this is the birder. So we put that over there, and there's 16 designs, so it's not the thickest of supplements, but we've got 16 designs for you to knit. Colour me bright, winter wonders. So that's nice and dreamy looking, isn't it? There are some lovely knitting patterns around. And here they are in their kind of smaller pictures. Let's go through it. That's quite a nice cardigan, I have to say. I like the way it, um, it's done on the shoulder there. It'd be nice and simple to make. And we've got a polar neck sweater. But I liked it until I saw this. I really, really dislike things that go up at the front and are lower at the back. Because so many times I'm in a shop looking at a top thinking, I really like that. And then I pick it up and it's got this longer back, back than it has the front. And it's just not long enough at the front to hide my problem areas. And if it was the same both sides, it would be fine. But because they think, oh, let's make it a little funky and have the top, the front bit higher up. I don't like it. It's just, why? Why? There's so many tops I can't wear because of it. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Winter warmers. Um, again, this one is the one that's on the front cover. Very pretty. Very nice. But um, got to be quite intricate to make. This one's nice and simple, though. I like that. They've got a bit of everything. They've got some that look very simple to make and some that don't. The only hard bit is putting a zip in. So 
you know, if you're a bit um, au fait with putting zips in, you're fine. That looks nice. I quite like that one. Now that is, that one is me. Let's get, um, you see the, the way it cuts away? I like that. It's got a little bit of a turned down collar in here, but hmm, I like it. See, she's been putting her hands in her pockets already. Oh yeah, there she is. Made it baggy. Oh, a tank top, but I don't really like this part sticking out like that. I prefer to have this thinner and shaped round. I would be fine with that. We've got, oh, this is cute. I like the little hat and little pullover. Well, it's a cardigan. Well, they call it a jacket. If it's knitted or crocheted, I can't call it a jacket. It's a cardigan. Oh, well. That's nitpicking, I suppose. Now, that's nice. I like that one. I don't like the sleeves much, though. They're a bit too baggy. But I do like this, and I like the neck. Because I can wear this now. Never used to be able to wear anything around my neck. But that, that they don't make them quite so strangulating as they used to. This is nice as though. I like this. This is a shawl. Doesn't that look soft? That looks really soft and lovely. What's it called? Triangular. Could have thought of a more kind of nicer name, couldn't they? A soft touch. That's huge. That's enormous. Okay, I think we're just repeating, are we? Or not? Maybe not. So where are these patterns then? We're going page after page of pictures. Are they all going to be at the end? Perhaps they are. We've got, whoopsie, another cardigan. We've got this um, blanket. Wow, that's a big one. Um, a scarf, another big one. And we've got a soft, they're all called a soft touch. That's why I said they look really soft. Duh. That's why they're soft, isn't it? Poncho style. Slipover. <laughs> Slipover is what you do when everybody's watching and you fall on your face. They keep making up names. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they do. Nick, you know, they do. What was it the other day? I can't remember what the thing they come up with. But <laughs> I can't remember now. You have to remind me. But they keep making up names. A Slipover. Which you don't want to do. Oh, yeah, here's all the patterns. Okay. So <laughs> oh, we haven't got a download, and that's good. I thought we'd have to go online or something. So I'm glad they've put them all in the back then. Lots of nice kind of detail. <laughs> okay, so that's it then. That's the Birda magazine with... It looked like a lot more than 16 designs, but I dare say it is just 16. And the Simply Knitting, what do you think, guys? What does it say there? It just says issue number 233. Well, I think there's been quite a few things in there that I um, I, I would, would make if I had the time. Um, tell me what you think of it. Do you like anything from it? I like her necklace. Not meant to be liking the necklace, but at least it does tell you how to buy it if you want. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.